so today I'm here to do a bookshelf tour for you. Most of you know that I moved, so I have a whole new setup, um, a whole new bookshelf. Actually, I actually have two bookshelves I'm going to show you, but this is the first one. And basically it's just organized the same as it was before. All of my contemporary is up on the top, continuation down there, and then it stops right there. <laughs> and then the rest is just everything else like fantasy, dystopian, um, all of that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I'm kind of already running out of room, so I'm having to stack some books up top there. But um, here I have Anna and the French Kiss and Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. I'm not going to put pull all of them out, by the way. Um, on top here is The Karma Club by Jessica Brody. Forgotten by Cat Patrick. Which I'll show you the front of that. I really like the cover. Then I have the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants series by Anne Brashear. Take Me There by Susan Colasanti. I have my little Sarah Dessen collection here. I've got Just Listen, This Lullaby, and The Truth About Forever. Before I go on, I just want to say I'm sorry that my voice sounds really weird. I think I might be getting sick, so I apologize for that. But um, Then I have Burn for Burn by Jenny Han, and then I also have the Summer I Turn Pretty series by her. I have a couple bind-ups, uh, Endless Summer and Royally Crushed. Pushing the Limits by Katie McGarry. Perfect Chemistry by Simone Elkles. Virtuosity by Jessica Martinez. Then up front here, this is my to-be-read section, the books that I want to get to first. They're not really in the order I want to read them necessarily, but I just wanted to set them out so that I could pick from them until I get these finished. So. I have One Last Lie by Rob Kaufman, Scorch Trials by James Dashner, which is the sequel to The Maze Runner, Pretty Little Liars book, Always the Baker, Never the Bride, which is actually something I'm going to be reading for a book club that I'm in, New Moon, uh, that's been on my to be read list for a long time, Ascend by Amanda Hawking. Never Have I Ever by Sarah Shepard. As you can see, I actually started it a while back. I just need to finish it. Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. All of these books are falling. And Slide by Jill Hathaway. The Probability of Miracles by Wendy Wonder. Take a Bow by Elizabeth Yulberg. Crash Into Me by Albert Boris. Kiss Crush Collide by Christina Meredith. Two Way Street by Lauren Barnholt. Flipped, no idea how to say the author's name, but there you go. Moon Glass by Jesse Kirby, Dream Girl by Lauren Meckling, um, Girls of No Return, Where the Truth Lies, Jellico Road, and Charm Thirds, which is by Megan McCafferty. Down here is the rest of the Pretty Little Liars series, well, not all of the series, but um, book two, three, and four. Then we've got The Lion Game book one and three. Model Anne by Tyra Banks, Winter Girls, Rosebush by Michelle Joffe, I think, 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, Saving June by Hannah Harrington, Impossible by Nancy Worland. Up here I've got my John Green books, Abundance of Catherines, and Looking for Alaska. This is actually um, taken by Edward Bloor. As You Wish, Jackson Pierce, Memoirs of a Teenage Amnesiac by Gabrielle Zevin. Carrie Diaries by Candace Bushnell, um, a little Cecilia Ahern book, Impulse by um, Ellen Hopkins, a couple of bind ups by Elizabeth Chandler, and then all of these over here are my arcs. I move these things. This is my little angel. I think she's for um, healing and protection or something like that. And then these are my bookmarks in there. Okay. A Once So Wicked by Suzanne Young, Defiance by CJ Redwine. Struck by um, Jennifer Bosworth. The Peculiars by, I don't remember who that's by. Imaginary Girls by Nova Rensuma. Kiss of Frost, Angel Fire, Berserk, Infinite Days, Poseidon, Everneath, and Tempest. And up here I have some extra books. Enclave, Revolution, and the Mysterious Benedict Society. Then I have my sad little Harry Potter collection. <laughs> I really need to get the rest of the series and read that, but this is book six and seven. Then I have Eve by Anna Carey, Possession by Elena Johnson, Hex Hall, extra copy of City of Glass up here, um, Timeless, Virals, Graceling, Eon. Sorry, I'm going fast, but I don't want to spend 
forever doing this. Um, the Chronicles of Narnia Bind Up, Nevermore by Kelly Cray, Slice of Cherry by Dia Reeves, Tiger's Curse, this is Grave Minders by Melissa Marr, Destined by Jessica Jesse Harrell, The Summoning, um, Falling Under, and Dreaming Awake by Gwen Hayes. Jessica's Guide to Dating on the Dark Side, Need, Dark Eden Book 1 and 2, this actually is an arc, but I wanted to put it with the first book, Shattered Souls, Morganville Vampires, there's my little wolf, <laughs> um, Vampire Diaries, This Is Not a Test by Courtney Summers, The Iron Knight by Julie Cogwa, Titan's Curse, which is the third book in the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series, of course by Rick Rorden, Birthmarked by Kara M. O'Brien. By the way, I know this video is shaky, guys. Um, I don't have a tripod like I did last time, so the lighting is also really bad down here. But let's see, up top here, I have Betrayal, or The Betrayal of Natalie Hargrove by Lauren Kate. And I have The Fairy Ring. I love that book. You guys should check it out. Down there is Ashfall by Mike Mullen. Awaken, uh, Arcadia Awaken, sorry. Darker Still, right there. Second book um, in the Knife of Never Letting Go series, I guess. The Ask and the Answer. Switched and Torn by Amanda Hawking. Wither and Fever by Lauren Stefano. A Touch Mortal by Leah Clifford. Wildfire by Karsten Knight. And that's the end of my YA books. This, These are a couple memoirs here. Home by Julie Andrews and Miles to Go by Miley Cyrus. Then this starts my adult books. So, these are the Stephanie Plum books, 1, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Then, let's see, Memory Keeper's Daughter by Kim Edwards, a couple Nicholas Sparks books, The Lucky One and The Last Song, Time Traveler's Wife, um, 13th Tale, Water for Elephants, there's some Mitch Album books there, The Help by Catherine Stockett and Memoirs of a Geisha. So that is my first shelf. So here's my second shelf. I actually used to use this for DVDs um, at my other house, but I was running out of room for books, so I decided to use it for this. First, I have my Twilight series up here. Then I've got my Cassandra Clare books, City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass. Then I've got Clockwork Angel because I wanted to put them in, or in the order that you're supposed to read them. And I've got City of Fallen Angels here too, but um, I need to get clockwork prints to put here, but I don't have it yet. In this little section here, um, I put my Kindle and its case and charger and stuff. Um, this is actually a tripod. I don't know what that is. This is an um, iPod, obviously, that I use for audiobooks. I've got Matched by Ali Condi, Divergent and Insurgent. I'm going to pull it out. Maze Runner. And then I have Unearthly and Hallowed by Cynthia Hand. Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi. Cinder by Marissa Meyer. The Unbecoming and the Evolution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. Sorry, I know that cover is hard to see. Then I've got my wonderful Vampire Academy series. I love this series. I'm reading the fifth book right now, which goes there. So, first one is Vampire Academy. Frostbite, you can't see these. Ugh. Blood Promise, Last Sacrifice. Then I also got Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead, so that when I finish this series, I can start this one, because I just love those books. The Space Between and The Replacement by Brenna Yovanoff. Everneath by Amy Huntley. Strange Angels by Lily St. Crow. Prophecy of the Sisters by Michelle Zink. And last but not least, Ashes by Elsa J. Bick which I'm not happy they changed the covers on those books. That's why I haven't gotten the second one yet, because it won't match. So, <sighs> yeah, really frustrating. But anyways, so that is my updated bookshelf tour. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hi, Toby. I don't know if you guys can see him in there. Okay. You okay? You okay, dude? You okay?